Welcome back to Med Madness, the podcast where we explore essential topics in medical education and practice. I'm your host, and today we're continuing our series on Human Factors Engineering, or HFE. In this episode, we'll cover more HFE strategies, standardization and simplification, human machine redundancy, reminders, alerts and double checks, and less reliable HFE strategies. We'll conclude with a case study to illustrate these concepts in action. Let's get started. First, let's discuss standardization and simplification. These strategies involve creating uniform processes to minimize variation, complexity, and the learning curve. By standardizing procedures, we reduce the chances of errors and make it easier for healthcare providers to perform their tasks correctly. For example, consider the administration of heparin. If every hospital unit follows the same standardized process for heparin administration, the risk of dosing errors decreases. Healthcare providers can rely on a consistent protocol, ensuring that each step is followed correctly every time. Next, let's talk about human machine redundancy. This strategy involves incorporating repetitive steps to confirm correct actions in error-prone processes. By using both human and machine checks, we can catch potential errors before they affect the patient. An excellent example of this is the use of barcode scanning for medications. When a healthcare provider scans a medication barcode, the system verifies the medication against the patient's prescription. This redundancy ensures that the correct medication is administered, even if the provider makes a mistake during visual inspection. Now let's move on to the use of reminders, alerts, and double checks. These processes prompt healthcare providers to verify their actions, reducing the likelihood of errors. For instance, electronic health record systems often include drug-drug interaction alerts. When a provider prescribes a new medication, the system checks for potential interactions with the patient's existing medications and alerts the provider if there is a risk. Additionally, timeouts before procedures serve as a final check to ensure that all necessary steps have been taken and that the correct procedure is being performed. While the strategies we've discussed so far are highly effective, it's important to acknowledge that some HFE strategies are less reliable. These include training, policy changes, and education. While they play a crucial role in improving patient safety, they rely heavily on human behavior, which can be inconsistent. For example, while training programs are essential for educating healthcare providers, they may not always translate into consistent practice. Policy changes and educational initiatives need to be reinforced with more reliable HFE strategies to be truly effective. As a result of these comprehensive changes, the surgical department saw a significant reduction in surgical site infections. The combination of standardization, redundancy and reminders supported by ongoing training and policy reinforcement created a safer environment for patients. In conclusion, Human factors engineering strategies like standardization and simplification, human machine redundancy, and reminders, alerts, and double checks are crucial for enhancing patient safety. While training and policy changes are important, they must be supported by more reliable HFE strategies to be truly effective. Join us in the next episode of Med Madness as we continue exploring more aspects of patient safety and HFE. Thank you for listening and don't forget to subscribe and share this podcast with your colleagues and friends. Until next time, stay safe and stay informed. To bring these concepts to life, let's consider a case study from a hospital surgical department. The department was experiencing frequent surgical site infections, prompting a review of their processes. Firstly, the hospital implemented standardization and simplification by creating a uniform surgical checklist. This checklist included all the necessary steps for preoperative preparation, intraoperative procedures, and postoperative care. By following a standardized checklist, the surgical team ensured that no critical steps were missed. Secondly, they introduced human machine redundancy. During surgery, barcode scanning was used to verify surgical instruments and materials. This redundancy helped confirm that the correct tools were used for each procedure, reducing the risk of contamination and infection. Thirdly, reminders, alerts and double checks were incorporated into the workflow. Timeouts were conducted before each surgery to verify the patient's identity, the surgical site and the planned procedure. Electronic alerts were set up to remind the team 
of critical steps such as administering prophylactic antibiotics. Despite these changes, the hospital recognised that training and policy changes alone were insufficient. They reinforced these strategies with continuous monitoring and feedback, ensuring that the team consistently adhered to the new processes.